Roger Penrose. There is a certain sense in which I would say the universe has a purpose. It's not just there by chance. The brilliant physicist Sir Roger Penrose is certain. String theory is wrong and dark matter does not exist. Penrose finds his very own approach to the elementary question of physics, what the true structure of the universe is, and he is one of the few scientists of our time to find coherent answers to the question of a deeper meaning or purpose behind the apparent randomness of cosmic events. While string theory strives for a unified theory of all forces, the mystery of dark matter and energy remains unsolved to this day. In this field of tension, the exceptional scientist Roger Penrose thinks far beyond conventional boundaries and shows us the possibility of a universe full of meaning and mystery. Roger Penrose I think the problem with string theory is that there is no connection to observations. I'm probably taking too strong a view here, but in my opinion, it's largely driven by mathematics, which is not in itself an objection as far as I'm concerned. Much of what I do is driven by math. But the problem with string theory is that it's supposed to be a theory about how the world works, and if the number of spatial dimensions is just wrong, I can't take it seriously. String theory postulates that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point-like particles, but one-dimensional strings. These strings vibrate at different frequencies, creating the variety of elementary particles observed. The theory was once the celebrated unification of the four fundamental forces in nature. Gravity, electromagnetism, strong and weak nuclear forces came together here for the first time in a coherent way and in a larger context. String theory practically unites astrophysics with particle physics, but there is a catch. The formulas only work if we assume far more than the known four dimensions. Roger Penrose is one of the biggest opponents of the theory, while another physics star, the American Michio Kaku, sees it as the only coherent field theory. Penrose is not so bothered by the many other dimensions. For the Britain, string theory is unacceptable despite its mathematical sophistication because it cannot be tested empirically. Penrose argues that for a scientific theory to be considered valid, it must make testable predictions and be confirmed by observations or experiments. String theory, however, has not yet provided any testable predictions that could be tested by the means of current experimental physics. This leads to the question of whether string theory is actually a physical theory or rather a mathematical thought experiment. Penrose is similarly critical of a much more significant variable in previous cosmological models. In the debate about dark matter, Penrose also takes an astonishingly critical stance. Dark matter was virtually invented by scientists in order to explain certain astronomical observations, such as the rotation speeds of galaxies and gravitational lensing effects. These phenomena did not match the amount of visible matter in the universe, and so the theory of invisible dark matter was born. In theory, dark matter is a form of matter that cannot be observed directly as it does not emit or reflect electromagnetic radiation. According to previous models, however, it makes up a significant proportion of the total mass of the universe. Penrose argues that the assumption of an invisible, undetectable substance, which is supposed to make up a large part of the universe, is more of a tentative solution than a well-founded scientific theory. Penrose favors alternative explanations based on the modification of the theory of gravity rather than speculating on the existence of an unknown form of matter. The Nobel Prize winner's views, therefore, pose a real challenge to conventional cosmology. His critique is not only a rejection of certain theories, but also a call for more rigorous scientific methodology and a more open discussion about the foundations of our understanding of the universe. Penrose emphasizes that science must always be open to new ideas and revisions, especially when confronted with the limits of our knowledge. In practical terms, the physicist is saying that we cannot base our worldview on assumptions. If scientists do not know something, then they have to admit it and go back to the point where knowledge is backed up by observations and sound evidence. Modern astrophysics, on the other hand, has built an entire worldview on the existence of a substance for which there is no evidence. And if string theory were to be recognized one day, it would be similar. Until these dimensions are seen or evidence for their existence is found, 
we cannot consider them a serious theory of science in the eyes of Penrose. Sir Roger Penrose is a genius. Penrose is currently making a big splash on the physics star circuit. In Great Britain, every child knows the scientist. Penrose had his own TV programs on astrophysics, is the author of many renowned books, and one of the country's great thinkers. In addition to the Nobel Prize, his extraordinary achievements earned the Britain an elevation to the peerage of Queen Elizabeth. Penrose was born in Colchester in 1931 and studied mathematics and physics. He is particularly well known for his work in the theory of relativity and cosmology, especially for his research into black holes. In collaboration with Stephen Hawking, Penrose developed important theorems on singularities within the framework of the general theory of relativity. This work has fundamentally changed our understanding of black holes and the origin of the universe. The concept of Penrose diagrams, named after him, is based on Penrose. This innovative method depicts the structure of the space-time continuum in the general theory of relativity. With the Penrose tiles, the thinker's work even reached the sciences of crystallography, and his work led to the theory of quasi-crystals. Penrose is not limited to mathematics and physics. This man is a scientist who wants to understand the universe in its entirety, including the metaphysical aspects. That is why he is not afraid to talk about topics such as consciousness or the meaning of the universe. Penrose actively worked with brain researchers on the question of whether the universe is something that is created by our consciousness. His book, The Emperor's New Mind, links human consciousness with quantum processes in the brain. Again, the exceptional scientist was not only interested in presenting some mathematically reasonably coherent concepts. He wanted to prove that these connections exist and set about practical research. Penrose is not just a scientist and thinker who easily blurs the boundaries between mathematics, physics, and philosophy. His ability to simplify complex ideas and make them accessible to a wider audience, and to challenge established dogma, make him in the UK what Michio Kaku is in the US. The Universe and Its Purpose Can you imagine the Pope, a man like Penrose, and a musician like Mozart, sitting around a table and discussing the question of the purpose of the universe? What is a rather abstruse idea today was quite normal in the past. All these disciplines were once practiced in the guise of great thinkers and scientists. Pythagoras was a gifted mathematician and a brilliant musician. For him, music and sound and the universe belonged together. He would have liked the idea of vibrating and sounding strings. Ptolemy of Alexandria, was the greatest religious scientist of his time, and at the same time, a mathematician, astronomer, and biologist. Sir Roger Penrose appears in the present day as one of the few polymaths who transcend the boundaries of disciplines and link concepts such as consciousness with theories and religion. His opinion on chance and determinism in modern cosmology is also interesting. Both concepts attempt to explain the existence and nature of the universe. The debate revolves around the question of whether the universe came into being through a series of random events, which is the equivalent of chance, or whether it follows a specific purpose or predetermined order, which would be an expression of determinism. Roger Penrose rejects the idea of a random, purposeless universe. Instead, he sees in the complex structure of the universe and in the finely tuned laws of physics, evidence of a deeper order and possibly an underlying purpose. The philosophical implications of Penrose's views are far-reaching. If the universe does indeed follow a purpose or have a deeper order, this raises questions about the nature of that order and the origin of that purposefulness. It could mean that the universe is constructed in a way that not only enables, but perhaps even favors, the emergence of life and consciousness. This perspective effectively says that our human existence is also intentional for a reason and our role in the universe could be far more than simply being here. In quantum mechanics, the observer of the universe is equal to the creator of reality. In quantum mechanics, it is often argued that the observer plays a crucial role in determining reality. Penrose's studies could prove that consciousness and observation are not just passive processes, but active participants in the creation of reality. 
Penrose's views on the universe challenge conventional cosmology and provide new coherent approaches. Penrose is also responsible for the groundbreaking theory of the cyclic universe. In it, the physicist scientifically demonstrates that our Big Bang was the subsequent event of a previously extinct universe. Once the life cycle of our universe has reached its end, it collapses and a new Big Bang occurs. This theory could be confirmed by extremely old black holes recently discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope. In Penrose's idea of a cyclical universe, the black giants are pretty much the last thing that remains of an old universe, and they could even play a part in the new birth of a universe. The Future of Physics – What Lies Beyond String Theory and Dark Matter The future of physics is at an exciting turning point. Theoretical physics could move in a completely new direction that goes far beyond the conventional explanatory models for how the universe works. One such direction could be loop quantum gravity, which attempts to describe gravity within the framework of quantum mechanics without resorting to additional dimensions or complex string configurations. Other approaches could focus on developing theories based on the holographic principle or postulating entirely new forms of matter and energy that differ from the traditional notion of dark matter. As Penrose emphasizes, reproducible experiments and real observations must be paramount in the future development of physics. The confirmation or refutation of theories through empirical data is a cornerstone of the scientific method. Roger Penrose has his own vision for the future of his field. He emphasizes the importance of creativity and firmly believes the future of physics lies in new ideas that push the boundaries of current understanding and still offer deeper insights into the nature of the universe. Penrose has argued for a greater consideration of the role of consciousness in physics and suggested that quantum processes in the brain should be better explored to find connections to the universe and the probable determinism of its creation. If you love amazing videos, subscribe to this channel now.